Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, so I just got five new wine barrels. These are going to become the nest boxes for my breeding pairs of macaws. I have African greys and cockatoos and a variety of other species as well. I've been using these metal nest boxes here for the past 10 years. In my opinion, the only thing that's wrong with these is quite simply, they're made of metal. Now I put about 6 inches of bedding at the bottom. It takes about 2 weeks a period of time. My, all my birds seem to do this, they kick out the bedding. Well in the meantime, if you're lucky, they're going to lay a clutch of eggs. Those eggs, they're going to work their way to the bottom and eventually make direct contact with that metal. Breeding season is in spring and summer. Well, it could still be very cold in the spring. Now, the temperature variations and having that cold at the bottom is going to kill your embryo. Your egg is going to die and your chick is going to die. It's quite simply. Hey, so check this out. I built this birdcage in my backyard. It's 10 feet tall, 10 feet wide, and 16 feet long. If you do a search on my channel, you'll find more information on it. I actually have the build. So, here's my thing. I want to start using these wine barrels as the nest boxes. The wood is one inch thick on here. Now, there's nothing better than one inch thick of insulation for your egg. Okay, even if they do kick most of the bedding out, it's not really going to make that big of a difference, being that it is one inch. Yeah, these things are really cool. I know. It took me a while to find the guy to buy these from too. I looked for three months. So I did a mock up here on top with the tape. This is where I think I'm going to put the door. I'm not exactly sure, and I also don't know if I want to have the wine barrel or the one with the tape going up or I like the bottom standing up and down. I'm not quite sure. If I do have it sideways, I have some tape on the side. I was thinking about cutting a door there, an access door with a latch so I could get to the eggs. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out. It's still under thought, but when I picked them up, the guy gave me all these extra slats. These are extra pieces because we all know that birds like to chew. Now when you have big birds like macaws, the chewing is just even worse. Even though it's solid oak, it's not going to make a difference. They're still going to chew it. They might only, the nest box might only last for a couple years. At least this will help it to last longer. Another thing I want to do is I have to put these inside the cages, I think. I have pretty big cages. The reason I want to put it inside, if I put it outside there, they might eventually chew a hole through it. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not outside looking at my nest boxes every day. Okay, I'm, six months might go by and I won't pay attention. The only alternative I could think of is encasing the actual wine barrel with wire similar to what the cage is made out of but if I did that it has to look good it can't be hokey I'm not really sure so I'm gonna do some follow-up videos here hopefully you guys t took something from this and agree that yeah wood is better than metal okay and my birds I'm hoping that they're gonna give it a big thumbs up when I put them in there I'm not quite sure what the reaction is gonna be um, uh, I don't know. I'm just really excited that I even got these in the first place. I looked for such a long time to get these. If you guys are in Southern California and you guys want to get some like this, hit me up and I'll give you the link to the guy. He's down in Riverside somewhere, um, in Norco to be more specific. So stay tuned for updates. If you like this video, keep looking around. Maybe you find my birdcage and some of my birds. Hope you guys got something from this and if nothing else, you at least learned something. Alright, later.